Now, will you coordinate with my school? Will you coordinate with my therapist? Ha <laughs> ha. So, whoo, man, y'all. So this is super contextual. So let me let me see if I can uh, break it down uh, as fast and entertaining as possible. So uh, me as a psychiatrist, I do some therapy. I do some medication. I do some medication and therapy depending on whatever the situation is. And so sometimes I will get asked, hey, will you, you know, call Bobby's therapist and coordinate with them? Well, yes and no. So um, there's a couple different things. So um, uh, there's a term called feeding forward, uh, which is this philosophy that if I proactively reach out to someone, especially if I just met them um, and I'm, you know, either referring a person to the new therapist um, or if things are very in the new stages for the both of us, there's a chance that if I feed forward information, hey, this is what I'm thinking, this is what I think is going on, blah, 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 there's a chance that that can kind of taint the process for the next person. And so, um, which can be problematic. So let's say, for instance, I was like really bad at my job and I was like, I don't know, this this kid is, you know, sad and depressed, but obviously it's ADHD. Well, you know, sometimes it can manifest that way. Most times it doesn't. Um, but if I fed that forward to the therapist or um, the next uh, treatment person, there's a risk that they will become biased with whatever I said, especially, you know, um, you know I'd like to think that, um, you know, we're all equal and colleagues and collegial. But, you know, some people may say, well, the doctor said it's this. So then it has to be this. Right. So you run into those types of kind of hierarchical issues. And so. It, it will I reach out to the therapist? If you insist, yes. The other time I will reach out to a therapist is if I can't pin somebody down. So, you know, doing this job, it feels like forever. I have a pretty good idea of kind of where things, you know, 98% of things land um, because it's pretty cut and dry. They'll, you know, a person will come in with certain symptoms. I can use the context of their lives to weed things um, in and out, you know, weed that out and, you know, rule this in. And then I can guess and say, yeah, I think it's X, Y, and Z. Um, occasionally there are times where I'm like, you know what? I can't figure this out. You don't fit in any box and actually having a different perspective is really helpful. So absolutely. I will reach out to the therapist. I, I get the patient's permission. Of course, most times you need to sign a form. It's called the release of information. You have to sign that form so that I can legally do it. And then on that release of information, most times you're going to say what I, what I can and cannot do. Um, and so uh, we'll come back to that in just a second, because this is a really important point. Um, and so, yeah, I'll call the therapist. I'll say, hey, I saw Bobby. This is what happened. Um, you know, this is what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? And we go back and forth. If the therapist initiates it and calls me, I always either call them or email them back because uh, therapists are super busy, y'all. And so if they're reaching out to me to say, hey, I have this concern or whatever, then I always get back to them. Um, when it comes to the release of information, so let's talk about that really quickly. So a release of information does not give me permission to divulge your whole entire life and whole entire world. In fact, I'm going to caution y'all to really pay attention to that. So if you ever release your records, um, especially your psychiatry or your therapy records, be very careful with this part. Because um, especially me as a doctor, I document basically everything. I type really fast because I have the ability to do that. Um, I had a really good keyboard and teacher in, in uh, eighth and ninth grade. It was it was awesome. Um, but yeah, so I can type really fast. So I generally will capture pretty much everything that you say. Well, when if you if you sign a release that says, "Hey, I want my um, psychiatrist to send everything over to." The therapist, sometimes it's stuff about family history that you may not want to share with anybody. It may be personal history, um, you know, like personal family history, like, oh, I'm struggling with X, Y, and Z. And I'll put it in my notes because I need to remember that and keep it in context for the next time we meet. But it may be that you don't want to share that with anybody else. And that's where the school comes in, because a lot of parents will say, hey, I really want you, you know, my kiddo has ADHD. I need to let the school know that the kiddo has ADHD. I need you to send the records from you to them. And I'm like, wait a minute, because your school is awesome and they're wonderful and teachers are awesome and wonderful and school counselors are awesome and wonderful. But do you really want them to know that, you know, Uncle uh, Johnny did X, Y, and Z in blah, 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 Do you really want that to get out? Because once the record leaves my, like, um, control, like once it leaves my uh, medical record and I send it to the school or anywhere else, I have no control over it from that point. So if somebody, 
you know, y'all, uh, y'all know, like I do, um, some doctor's offices are still on fax. And so they'll get a fax and then they'll print out and they'll put it in a paper chart. And what happens if somebody leaves that chart open and somebody else sees it, or it just, it can be very, very problematic. And so, uh, instead what I advise most families and people to do is that if you want, um, if you want confirmation of a diagnosis, either request a letter or most places that you're asking about schools and workplaces and stuff like that, most of them have a form that they already have created um, for accommodations or exceptions to the rule when it comes to mental health care stuff. So it's a lot better if you send your doctor or your therapist the form rather than you request uh, all the personal records be sent out to God knows where. OK, so um, so that's my overlong answer for will you coordinate with your school, with my school and with my therapist? Yes, we will. Asterisk. Um, and we're going to uh, most people will, will call you and or email you and say, OK, let's make sure that you understand the risks of me releasing that information because it once it's out, it's out.